Hey! <laughs> Welcome to Rage. <laughs> Today we're talking about paper planes Woo! or aerogami. Yeah. And、um, it's becoming an increasingly sophisticated hobby around the world. Woo! Yeah. And tonight we're going to be teaching you how to make one of these really, really cool paper airplanes. It's called the Stealth, and it's as awesome as it sounds <laughs> because we get some tips from this book by Mr. John M. Collins. John M. Collins. Yeah. And we're going to be giving away these books tonight just for you guys. Okay. But before that, let us take you to the Red Bull Paper Wings competition at NUS, which is a contest designed to look for the best paper plane. Pilots in the world. Roll <laughs> clip. <laughs> you might think that you're looking at a humble paper plane, the sort that we used to fold when we were kids in the classroom when the teacher wasn't around. You know, we'd fold them and throw at each other. But these days, the paper plane has evolved into something of a fine art. These days, kids. Make their paper planes using very, very evolved, very, very modern techniques that allow the planes to fly very far or very fast, or be able to do aerobatics that are beyond the imagination. Red Bull, the energy drink, is searching for Singapore's best paper plane pilots to represent the country in the world finals in Austria. The preliminary rounds are being held at NUS, NTU, and SMU to look for the planes that go the longest distance, the planes that have the longest air time, and the planes that execute the best aerobatics. Winners will get an all-expense-paid trip to Salzburg, Austria, to compete against other national champions from around the world. So we dropped by at NUS to meet some of the pilots who made it to the finals. I'm with the winner. His name is Tan Chao Meng. He is studying business in NUS, and、uh, so that was really impressive. You managed to throw that plane like right up to the roof, and then it came gliding down very beautifully. Is this an original construction or something you got from books? I learned this from my brother. Actually, he taught me when I was like in primary school. Seriously? Yeah, it was supposed to be like. For flying far, and I didn't know that it, can, it could do acrobatics until yesterday. You've been throwing this paper planes for this particular design of paper plane for a long time, then.、Uh, only for this competition. <laughs> I haven't thought of this for quite a long time, actually. Yeah. So you might be looking at a, a trip to Austria. Are you looking forward to that?、Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Okay. I'm hoping to win the national finals. <laughs> you look extremely surprised. Yeah, because I didn't intend to join this competition. Actually, was it a last minute thing?、Uh, it was、uh, my friend who wrote my name. Okay, so Chao Ming is now going to fold this plane just for you folks out there, so you know how to do what he just did. I'm with Andrew A, also a winner of the best aerobatics. Now,、uh, you—that was quite a surprising move. It went like five of them went up into the air. Was it an original construction? Yeah, original construction. Okay, how did you come up with the idea of coming like five at one go? Uh, because at first, when I see the other contestants, they fly one aeroplane at one time. I feel that it is not that spectacular、mm. because it seems that I mean there's only one. Whereby normally, when you see the the pilot fly the planes for the display, they will fly a lot, and they there's come、uh, colors coming out of them lah.、Yeah. So I thought of it though. So I put all my planes together. So I flew it. Then it come. Yeah, it、uh, it shows a good display. Did you come up with the idea like just now when you were seeing the contestants? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't something that you planned, right?、Uh, originally, originally not. But after I seen them, yeah, I think I better try with a full display. Okay. What do you call it?、Mm, shooting stars. Yeah, shooting stars. <laughs> you just came up with that, also, right? Yeah. <laughs> How did you come up with the design, the construction? Did you research on it or? Well, I did. I,、uh, I did my own research by folding in a lot of different patterns. So, the one that I used is 
uh, is designed by me first thing. Secondly, is that yeah, it will stay in air for a very long time. And when I put the weight on one side of the plane, then it will go in the spiral, and yeah, it will land down gracefully. So when I throw the whole bunch of them, they will create a very good display lah. It's just like shooting stars. Then they will spread out and go in a helical way. Yeah. Very nice, very impressed. Now, uh, paper planes used to be something that kids do in school. Do you think that the, it has evolved as a, as a practice? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And now it's, it's, you know, there are competitions of it. Did you ever expect when you were a student that it would become like this? No. <laughs> was something that you do when you were bored in class, right? Well, no also. No? No, you didn't do uh, it then? Back in my place, if we were to... If we were caught with pepper plan, uh, yeah, we, then we will go and see our display master. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Well, actually, I started with um, searching on the internet so that I'm informed of what are the good planes that are uh, now in design. And tried it all on my own, flew them, did them, flew them, made some adjustments. And I ended up with this plane. It's quite nice because it flies uh, steadily and you can just adjust the flaps of the wings and also uh, the, the body itself. And you could... Um, you could let it fly and see the results of your adjustments. Is there a particular way of uh, throwing this plane? Well, um, actually, you could uh, flip it up at an angle so that uh, it could um, glide over. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes if you want it to um, fly long, you could lift it, lift it up straight up mm -hmm. with, a, with a slight force yeah. and then uh, it would it's, it's supposed to fall down smoothly just like that okay. but then sometimes it doesn't work so it's best to be safe and fly it off at an angle so okay. yeah that's the best way I think that you could fly this plane but there are roughly uh, a number of ways you can throw it depending <laughs> on how you wanted it to fly uh, what do you call it um, it's my basic plane. <laughs> it's called plane. a basic plane? Yeah. It's called a steady plane. Yes, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. You need a name for these things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to teach us how to do it, right? Oh, of course. It's a, bit, it's a simple one. It's easy to make. And uh, in just a few steps, in just a couple of minutes, you're done and you're ready to fly your plane. Alright, <laughs> okay, we'll be covering the finals held at the NTU on 12th of March where the top five finalists from each university will compete against each other. The champion from each category, which is uh, longest distance, longest mm. airtime, and best aerobatics, will get their tickets to Salzburg, Austria, wow. where they'll be competing against all the national champions from the other countries. Wow. Okay. Have you been to Austria? No, I want to go. Okay. I I knew this plane, if I've known about it right, this plane would totally like win it all. But By anyway. the way, she's gone out with the last guy, the <laughs> Filipino guy. No, I haven't. That's <laughs> what you said. No, I didn't. No <laughs> okay. Lie. But anyway, okay, so if you guys want to be master 
airplane makers as well. We're giving out a bunch of these books、um, by John M. Collins, and it teaches you how to create more than forty types of darts and gliders and other fancy paper planes. And all you have to do is email us at razortv at sbh dot com dot sg with a subject heading. I love paper planes. Yeah, is that simple? Okay, we're flying off for a bit, and when we return, we'll teach you how to fold the wonderful stealth plane.、Yeah. All right, let's hit it. Ah! <laughs>